Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel Thymus for you today. <clears throat> Blessings. We are Thymus. We are the collective of ascended masters. We are here to give you what you already know, but what is also very deeply buried inside of you. We want you to know that everything does exist inside of you and that you also get to have the experience of having it drawn out of you by those who know it more clearly and with more certainty. We are here to remind you of that which you already are and to show you a path to getting to that place where you always know and experience who and what you really are. It happens to be the case that there are many paths to discovering who and what you really are. And there are many ways of expressing it, many ways of living that truth that you are source energy, that you are unconditional love. That's what makes us all unique and our uniqueness needs to be embraced by each other. It is an important part of growing and evolving to recognize that everyone is playing their part and everyone is as they are supposed to be right now. Now, of course, everything and everyone will also change. But as an individual, you are not in charge of when that happens or how it happens. And that's why surrendering is also a priority 
for everyone there on earth at this time. Now, can you bring the best out of anyone that you are interacting with? Absolutely. And let that be your aim. Let that be your goal. But never see yourselves as having failed at it. But instead, recognize that you did the best you could as the unique aspect of source energy that you are and that you were in that moment. In other words, let yourselves and everyone else off the hook. You wanted to create the idea of chaos and the idea of failure so that you could experience rising up from chaotic failure and moving into blissful success. Now you know what you always knew and it comes time to practice it in the real world. In other words, when you are around other people. You have then the opportunity to practice these truths. And you will get reminders from within you that are called your feelings. Your feelings will always guide you in the direction you are meant to be going in. But you must listen. And listening sometimes takes courage conviction. And sometimes you don't listen so that you get to experience what that feels like. And then you become clearer about the importance of listening and you do. And you could say that it is trial and error or you could say that it is the experience of having lots of different outcomes and feelings. And when you put it in terms that feel good to you, then you also know from that feeling that you are doing what you need to do in that moment. Continue to value your feelings and follow them. And you know you will always be on the right track. And remember that how you feel when you think about someone else also matters. When you are cutting someone else some slack and letting them off the hook, and that feels better than criticizing them and condemning them, you know you are doing what you need to be doing with your thought energy in that moment. And that's all you can do. But there will be more that you can do in the future. And you have so much to look forward to in the future. Our advice is 
that you never give up on yourselves or anyone else and that you live each moment as you can one moment at a time as happily as possible that is all for now we are thymus we are the collective of ascended masters and we are always amongst you uh... for watching my little video here hope you enjoyed it <clears throat> namaste many blessings to you and yours um hope you're having a great weekend um although some of you might be watching this on a weekday <laughs> but right now it is uh sunday in australia my wife and daughter are coming back tomorrow from their long vacation I'm picking them up tomorrow morning at the airport, so that'll be fun reunion for all of us. And um, I'm still working uh, here and working on a lot of different things. I have some announcements to make for all of you uh, who are interested in my work. I have a 50% off sale going on right now on my website, DanielScranton.com. There'll be a link down below to... Uh, the private session page on my website and um, you can click that and put one in your card if you want and put the code love in at checkout l-o-v-e once you apply that coupon you'll see the 50 percent taken off and then you'll also get the instructions on how to schedule it and it will be some point in 2024 that you get that session with me um, i also have over a thousand items in my store right now that you can get um, light languages downloadable things that you get automatically you get uh, right away light languages sound healings meditations um, all kinds of processes master courses and things like that so uh, check those out in my store as well danielscranton.com slash store um, and then uh, on the 30th i have the august full moon manifestation event where you sign up for it and you choose either to have one, two, or three manifestations that you're choosing to submit, submit them to me. I teach in the first half of the one hour event on Zoom how to manifest, and then I do my thing with uh, Reiki and um, um, light language and sound healing to support everyone's intentions for what they wanna manifest for themselves and others, the planet, people in Ukraine, whatever you want to uh, put out there, people on Maui. Um, there was some good news that came out, I think this week um, from Maui about people being found that were missing. So that was great. Um, like a lot of people were found. Um, and uh, the water situation seems to be better than they they were anticipating in terms of like how uh, compromised it was by the heat of the fires and the stuff that may have gotten into the system. Um, so there's been some good news lately coming out of, uh, you know, my former home of Maui. Um, fully moving to Australia now, I can say that we're, we're doing it. Um, the the other um is there any other announcements i have a ascending to the fifth dimension course starting on the 7th of september i don't know what the short um, url is for that but look down below for the link if you're watching this on youtube in the description um and um i'll have some oh and i have my new book uh ascension the shift to the fifth dimension like that one except it's volume five. So it's got a starry, I haven't gotten mine yet. It's got a starry um, cover to it. And um, it may be the last one I ever do with uh, on in that series because I'm moving on now to channeling many, many more. And it would take me a long, long time 
to channel enough uh, messages that would be timeless from the Arcturians to put them in a book. Um, that's it, everyone. I'm just, uh, I'm watching Star Trek uh, Strange New Worlds these days, and uh, it's good. It's not, it's not great, but I realized um, if I held Asaka or Ahsoka to the same standards of excellence, uh, you know, if I just allowed that to be what it is instead of thinking, well, it's Star Wars, so it should be amazing, as I do with Star Trek. Strange New Worlds, I could enjoy it more because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be holding these high expectations, um, because you know they're not; these are not uh, perfect shows. They're doing the best they can, and um, you know, got to respect that. So anyway, Namaste, uh, blessings to you and yours, everyone. I love you guys, and do take care, and do hit subscribe if you happen to be watching this on the YouTube. And I put a, been putting a lot of videos on my YouTube channel right now. So do check them out. Check out um, all that I've been putting up there. And uh, I'll see you back here, not tomorrow, but the next day for a new video. Bye for now.